Engine telegraphs are arguably one of the most revolutionary inventions for ships, as they allowed the officers on the bridge to communicate with the engineers in the engine room, remotely without needing to walk all the way down there. Which of course in Titanic's case, by the time the officers reached the engine room, it would hardly be too late. The engine order telegraph consists of a lever which can be moved over different speed positions for ahead and astern directions. For example, full means that it goes at full speed, and half means that it goes at half speed, you get the idea. The initial movement of the telegraph is always from the navigation bridge, and is done by moving the lever in the required direction, which rings the telegraph bell on both of the locations, the engine room and the bridge. After hearing the bell, the engineer officer acknowledges the telegraph of the engine room to the same position as that of the bridge, which stops the ringing of the bell. This of course ensures that the correct movement is acknowledged and the engine speed and direction is controlled accordingly. This can also be seen quite clearly in the James Cameron 1997 film Titanic, with this small clip here. In modern ships, with automation and controls, the bridge telegraph is directly connected with the engine controls, and it doesn't require involvement of engine room personnel. Another interesting feature is that for urgent orders requiring rapid acceleration, the handle is moved three times so that the engine room bell is rung three times. This is called a cavitate bell, because the rapid acceleration of the ship's propeller will cause the water around it to cavitate. And in case you don't know what cavitation is, it's when small bubbles form in the propellers and can eventually eat away at the metal if the cavitation is regular. Now, one interesting theory that I thought of was that if telegraphs or any type of communication to the engine room didn't exist, then Titanic could have theoretically missed the iceberg. Let me explain. Since Titanic was heading at full speed, many people believe that if the engines were never stopped, then she would have missed the iceberg. This would then be the same effect if there was no telegraphs, as by the time Lookout spotted the iceberg, and the helm would have been spun over, immediately, she could have potentially missed the berg for at least a minor scratch by the time an officer had even reached the engine room to give the engineers the order to stop the engines. But at the end of the day, this is just a theory and to not really think about it too much.